How you doing? It's Luke. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to turn your idea into an app in seconds for free. It's coming up with a project. We'll check back on it in a moment. Here, in a previous video, I created this application here, so a tweet generator, and I used completely just ChatGPT. Well, a little bit of Claude at the end to make it look a bit fancier, but it's pretty much just ChatGPT. Now, this is because I was at the beginning of this learning the AI tools journey, and since then, I've uh, jumped in head first and now know about a bunch of tools that I didn't before. One of which is this Llama Coder, which creates app mockups essentially, completely for free, just from an idea. And so it gives you the code, as you can see here, and then it gives you the preview. So that video there was like 40 minutes. This one here could honestly be like five. So what we've done here is we've created a flashcard application. So you can see here, what is a llama? A llama is domestic South American camelid. Didn't know that. Widely used as a pack animal in Andean cultures. Fair enough. Let me see. Just press some stuff. And then we can make some, some new flashcards, add them here. Um, so yeah, you can see it's just made this mock-up like that. Right, this is a pretty generic one, but we're going to see... What it has the power to do. So this here is LlamaCoder.Together.AI and it's built on top of Llama. Oh, it has deep seek now as well. Interesting. We'll do a high quality slow one and see what we get. Um, some of the examples it says to use quiz, SAS land the page, Pomodoro timer, blog, flashcard, time zone, dash block. So what we'll do is we'll see if we can create that tweet generator app again. Um, and we'll do it maybe, hmm. Oh no, because then I have to mess around with it. You know what? Let's try it. Create for me a tweet generator app that links to hogging face to generate tweets. Here's my hogging face API. So let's go, <laughs> let's go and have a look. We'll make a new token. An API key for reference is essentially, or an access token, is your key to use some service. It's like a key for a door, but for a service. So let's create a new token on Hug and Face. Hug and Face being essentially a place for AI models, as well as data sets, etc. And so the reason we're doing this is so that the code that we generate, so that it can use an API for Hug and Face to say, use this model and send it this prompt. And then we'll get a response back, and that'll be the tweet it generates. And it's all through Hugging Face's free API. So what we call it, tweet gen llama coder. Just call it tweet gen llama. And then make calls to the serverless inference API. And we'll create token. Copy that. Done. And paste it in here. Don't ever do this. This is just for... Uh, <laughs> just for the video I also don't have my credit card linked to that Hugging Face account so it should be fine uh, put that in and then we need to find a model as well so the best way to do this because that's a bit of a nightmare is if we do Hugging Face Playground and then go here this allows us to interact with the API essentially and so you can choose from models and it will only let you use models that you're allowed to use so, for example, if we do this one, just send something in. Let me see again then, because this worked the other day. Apparently not today, though. Free model for API, hugging face. All right, so it's been a bit of a nightmare, so I'm going to go to the Tweet Generator app from last time. And we're going to find the, the one that we used previously. So... Hugging face API. So where do we define the model? This one here. There we go. Let's copy that. Paste it in. Use. And make the UI vibrant and modern. Boom. So it's going to come up with a plan. Then it'll start coding and we can watch it in real time code. Now, I don't know how good it's going to be because yesterday I created the time zone dashboard and it worked perfect. Then I was like, 
update it to have dynamically moving clocks and stuff and it just ran for like 10 minutes and nothing happened. So do be aware that if you give it too much of a, a thing to do, it won't do anything. Now imagine the reason it's going to take so long right now is because it's using deep seek, which is a reasoning model, meaning it thinks through everything it's going to do before it does it. Which then means that because this is probably only going to give me back the code, I'm going to have to sit here and watch it um, do nothing until until it's done all it's thinking. If you're interested in Deep Seek, I have a couple of videos on it. They'll be linked below. It's a new model, which is only like 2% of the price of ChatGPT. So, yeah, it's shaking up the industry, they say. So let's leave this and see. Actually, because this is all server side, so this is all running on Llama Coder's um, server. Let's open up another one. And what we'll do whilst that one's going is we'll create a simple one on the other side. One thing, to be fair as well, is that you can download the files, add them to your GitHub repo, but once you lose this chat, the chat's gone. So do be aware of that. So let's say, make me a mock-up MVP for a exam quiz website this one should be a bit faster because essentially this year it's good for mock-ups it's not good for full code implementations for that you really you kind of need to go back and forth with chat gpt or you can use something like cursor but cursor is expensive especially if you start using your own api because essentially it processes things in tokens and the size of the prompts it's just so many tokens when you use things like cursor. There we go. See how fast it can be. So do that next question. Let's see how we're going to go on. It's asking us a few questions. Next question. Next question. Let's see. One out of five. Try again. Right. Cool. Very nice. And here's the code. So we can share this. So we can share this application. Um, or we can refresh it, which will refresh this main page. Or can get rid of that. This, I think we've broken that. We'll leave it for another minute and see. But um, yeah, the cool thing is we can now modify this to say change the code. So this here's a prompt. Sure, let's build the MVP. Blah blah blah. Here's the explanation. And then here's the the quiz itself. So let's say we want make the UI modern and vibrant. Additionally, add some extra categories do a little bit of typo doesn't matter just press enter and so now you can see so yeah i think this one's broken it's going to update it let's see what it's been saying so sure let's enhance ui modern and vibrant category selection low users blah 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 <clears throat> so from my experience we'll see but from my experience it's good for the mock-up piece a little bit of interaction but when you start now getting into like you have hundreds of lines of code and you're wanting something specific you really need to start moving this into an IDE um, and using it from there. So there we go, select quiz category, American history, and then we can start doing it like this. There we go, same kind of thing again. Um, so yeah, as you can see it's good for a proof of concept or if you just want something um, kind of bare bones to then work from. For example, I have a startup that I am working on right now and if I knew about this beforehand, I would have used this to make the mock-up. You just have the idea of exactly what you want and then ask it to make it. But to continually um, work with the code, you really need to do it. Like I had shown you before, using ChatGPT or using something like Cursor. If you want to see that, let me know. But there is another way, which is using something called Bolt. Now, Bolt makes entirely new applications full stack applications which you can interact with so it's kind of like this llama coder but on steroids so i was going to use that but it can be a bit pricey so instead what i want to do is use this uh, bolt.diy which is an open source version you can download and run it on your own computer and you can either put in your api key say from hug and face or open ai or you could run locally your own la large language model and bolt.diy and run it completely for free. So that's what we're going to do next. It will be tomorrow's video. Subscribe if you want to see it. Um, so yeah, till next time. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you took something away. I'll see you later. Take care.